Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic Alrighty, so today is February 5th. It is Saturday and today I have my my first uh, bridal makeup trial appointment and I'm very excited. Um, my face is bare. I just did my eyebrows, which she can like undo if she wants to, but I'm very excited because I don't really do a lot of makeup at all, really. The most that I really do is um, eyeliner and mascara, and then like if the bags under my eyes are like really looking crazy, I'll do <laughs> some concealer underneath, but other than that, I really don't do makeup. So, and I've never had like super heavy makeup done, so I'm very interested to see what this is gonna look like. I'm definitely going for a more natural look, something that kind of like brings out my natural beauty. I don't wanna look, look like a completely different person on the day of my wedding, but um, yeah, I'm excited and I hope that we can like do something today that I just fall in love with. So I'm very excited about that. There is 112 days until the wedding and things are just really starting to get real, which is so exciting. Um, and scary at the same time but mostly exciting so before I leave I'm going to do a few wedding things um, because Saturdays are big days for me to focus on the wedding so I'm going to oh, I need to buy new flowers because those are obviously dead but okay I'm gonna place you here okay so I began this wedding board I actually began this because I saw um, a youtuber who's getting married make something like this and so it says vendors decorations plus diy things bridesmaids and guest lists and underneath just have stickies that correspond to those things so i'm gonna go get the stickies and i'm gonna take off things that have been done and put on new things because this definitely needs to be updated so i have my sticky notes and a pen and let's get started Alrighty, so i'm gonna look at each section so under vendors i have send deposit to catering which i've done so i'm gonna go ahead and take that off find dj i have not done so i'm gonna move it up i send final guest list addresses to katie which is my invitation lady i still need to do that i looked into a day of coordinator and it's really expensive so i don't know if i'm gonna be doing this yet but i'm gonna take it off because i did look into it um, and we're gonna like reconfigure, Lem and I are gonna reconfigure our budget later tonight and we'll see if we can potentially fit it in there. It's just super expensive, but at the same time, I really think, we both really think it's worth it to just not have to worry about certain things a day of and to have somebody walking us through everything and making sure that everything's set to go the month of the wedding. Okay, so now that I've updated that, I really wanted to kind of look at my agenda for today and update that, make any to-do list that needs to be made. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do now. This is my beautiful planner for 2021 and 2022. We are now in February. And so it looks like this. Ooh, okay, I need to call the bridal shop. So my dress came in. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna come in until like April because that's what they told me. And so I'm very excited and happy that it's here. Send address list to Katie. Okay, so I'm gonna get down here. My bridesmaids gift came, well, one of the part of the bridesmaids gift came in. I'm not gonna show you guys, but I am gonna take a peek and I'll just record my reaction. Oh, this is so cute. Uh, oh, I gotta put it on and just see how it is. This is adorable. I'm so happy that I went with this. Oh my God. <laughs> I think they're gonna love it. I'm so happy. Woo! I'm so happy it worked out perfectly. Okay, I'm gonna get ready to head out. Alrighty, 
so I got some Starbucks because I'm hungry and I'm not I didn't have time to grab breakfast but it's a beautiful day today and honestly days like these really make me miss Lem and like make me really look forward to just getting to be with him and run like errands with him and just you know spending the day together so anyway I got this little um, chicken and bacon sandwich on a ciabatta and then I just I already had coffee this morning so I just got um a little iced chai latte I'm gonna listen to a podcast on my way there it's on boundaries boundaries in marriage boundaries between friends boundaries between each other as spouses and boundaries between like family and law stuff like that so it's been pretty interesting the big reveal who is this who am i what i have never had my makeup done and loved it like this never oh my god who am i i got the ring pop in okay so now that i'm back home i'm able to like really really look at the makeup it's beautiful the only thing that I'm not sure about is whether I she put some like brown liner along my waterline and I felt like before she put it I really really liked the way the makeup looked and then after she put it it was like mm, is it totally necessary so after my mom gets home later I'm gonna show she'll see like my face like this and then I will take out take off the eyeliner in my waterline and see if I like that more but that's pretty much the only thing that I would change the eyeshadow is perfect the lip color is perfect everything just like super natural and neutral and it just really has that bridal glow so that's exciting all right so I've wiped up all my makeup I actually did um give the look a try without the liner on the bottom and i loved it it looked perfect it was perfect so i was happy that, that turned out well also my invitation lady katie sent me the proof for the for the invitation and um i'm so happy about that i did write some questions down from for myself that i wanted to answer because i just want to really remember what this time felt like um, what is my advice to others who are engaged to be married? Oh my god, do the work. Do the work before you get married. Ask the hard questions before you get married. Um, do counseling. Like, we do two different types of counseling. We have counseling that is, like, done by, a, like, a therapist or whatever. Like, a premarital counseling that's done um, through somebody who's, like, you know, an actual therapist. But then we also have... Um, counseling, premarital counseling or pre-cana counseling through the church. So we're in two different types of counseling and like it really just helps us to know that we're covering our bases. We're reading all these books. Some of them are required by the programs that we're in. Other books we've just found ourselves like right now. This is part of our counseling, uh, our counseling with the therapist. It's called The Seven Principles of Making Marriage Work. It's really, really good and i am about like halfway through it i really want to finish it soon um this is a book that i got myself and decided to read um sacred marriage so yeah and then i have two other books that i want to read before the wedding and there's tons of books and those books i will read during marriage but these two books and then two other books called like the praying wife and i think it's called the praying wife and then the other one is called, um, what is the other one called? You and Me in Light of Eternity. So I want to read those books and then, yeah. So read, research, listen to podcasts, um, get advice from other couples, other married couples, do all the counseling you can do, ask all the hard questions. That's my advice. All right, I'm going to end this vlog here. So, um, yeah, catch you in the next wedding. Side by side, our fears are done.